All right, today we'll give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Predator Hound from Predators. And uh, here is what the creature looks like in packaging. And uh, on the background, you see a Berserker's uh, side profile. And on the back, welcome to pause it and read that. And uh, there are the three Predators. And there's the Hound and the other two that are available which is uh, Elder and uh, Classic with the mask on. Uh, let's get this guy out of packaging. Alright and here's the Hound outside of packaging. As you can see this thing is quite nice actually. I'm very surprised as how nice this thing actually is. <clears throat> And uh, as far as articulation, this thing got quite a ton. Definitely a lot more than the Hot Toys one, I would think. And uh, let's uh, rotate him a little bit so you guys can see the other side as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go over articulation. Alright, uh, let's start off with the mouth. Um, there's a hinge there, so his mouth could actually open and close. And then uh, around the neck here, there are two ball joints there. One that's right up there, and then the other one's right there. And then the shoulders are, well, I'm standing him up, so he's kind of like a person now. Uh, shoulders are ball jointed. And uh, the elbows <laughs> are ball hinged. And then the wrists are ball hinged. And then the chest area, there's a ball joint there. And then the legs, the hips are ball hinged. Knees are ball hinged. And the second portion down here is also ball hinged. And the ankles are also ball hinged. So quite a lot of articulation. And uh, head, it is uh, kind of... Um, uh, uh, limited because uh, of the, the flaps so he could actually turn left and right just barely a little bit but uh, this ball joint here he could he could really turn his uh, it's a waist too I'll show you this is how much of a waist movement you could do quite a lot and as far as the neck uh, he could turn left more than he could turn right uh, this is how far he could turn to his left. Well, actually, to his right, but our left. Uh, while on the other side is not as much. And that's basically how far it will go. Pretty much uh, straight. And this is how far the front legs could uh, <clears throat> be spread apart. It's pretty far, actually. While the hind legs, uh, not so much. Because of the ball hinge there and it's uh, hindered by the upper portion of his, uh, of his legs. Alright and here's a nice pose. All legs uh, flat on the ground. Pretty nice actually. Uh, the hinges, uh, all those uh, ball hinge, they really work. Especially those, uh, like this one right here. Look at how far it, it could actually bend. So that's really good. So you could get quite a good range of motion out of this creature here. Let's do a closer look at him. Here's a good look at his uh, face, his head, and uh, some of these uh, bones that are growing out of him. Horns and his mouth. Teeth. and the skin itself nicely painted claws everything and now all I have to do is just um, add my own little um, 
um, collar and a strap so a uh, tracker could actually um, walk him walk this uh, little creature I mean uh, have a leash yeah so now all I need is to add a leash and uh, so tracker could, could uh, tug him around Cool. And here's the hound standing next to the tracker. Let's see, size wise, um, this thing is quite large actually. And for anyone who are uh, wondering about these horns, all of them except for these four here, these uh, thin ones, these. Th Four thin ones are made out of uh, softer rubber, while all the rest of these uh, horns and uh, things are or made out of uh, hard plastic. So they will snap, just like the tusk on a on a tracker here. They will break, so be careful with them. And uh, make sure you, uh, when you do get them at the Toys R Us, make sure you look at them before you buy them because uh, there might be broken tusk I mean there might be broken horns and uh, yeah so keep an eye out for these and uh, yeah and, uh, yep there you go there's the hound uh, thanks for watching